It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Well, I got Carl on the board, Xerox slash HP. We're going to talk about this a little bit today. But I got to ask everybody a question. Have you seen the surveys running around where they're asking people the three questions? Do you think Xerox will buy HP? Will HP buy Xerox? Or do you think nothing will happen? And what I find totally amazing is how many people are saying nothing will happen. I got to ask these people a question. What the hell are you missing? Because guess what? When he decided right here that he was going to go buy HP, something big happened. And what happened was it should have made everybody in the damn industry fully aware that consolidation in a big way is coming. It should have made everybody in the industry aware that we got to do things a little bit different going into 2020. That we better figure out who we're going to be partnering with and we better figure out how we're going to bring things to market to change the game. And think about this. There's been a lot of criticism. There's been criticism that Xerox doesn't have the right people. They fired all the good people I've heard a couple of different times. And we've heard things about HP that, well, you know, do they really have the people in, that, can, that can move a ship? Or do they have people that just want to steer it along the path of status quo? I've got to tell you something. I believe, and I still believe, that Xerox is the bolder company because they made the first move. I still believe that Xerox has a bolder leadership because they made the first move. I still believe that Xerox has the fortitude because they're not just making stuff up. They're executing on what they're saying. Does Xerox have the best engine out there to run the business into the future? They got their own issues, trust me. In, in all the manufacturers, if we don't start focusing on the A4 deliverable, if we don't start focusing on going where the customer's going, we're all going to have issues. But to say that, well, nothing's going to happen is nuts because it's already happened. Who do you think else is thinking about this? When, when Carl Icahn said he wanted to buy HP, he also brought awareness to the people on the borders of the industry. Maybe Best Buy's looking a little bit harder now. Maybe Office Depot's looking a little bit harder now. Maybe Sandy Douglas and his team over at Staples are saying, ah, we got to up this a little bit. You know, we bought Dex Imaging back in February. It's been almost a year. We got to get some more excitement going on there. Let's do something major. But folks, we all got to believe this. A lot's happened. A lot's happened in 2019. And in 2020, a lot more is going to happen. Remember when you were a kid and you got into that December month and maybe you already went to the mall and you got to visit Santa Claus and you told him what you wanted and you imagined these new toys that you were going to be playing with? Folks, we got to go back there in our minds and we got to get to the ability to imagine what's possible because possibilities become probabilities quicker than ever. And I think there's too many in our industry that refuse to imagine there's too many in our industry that are creating visions from their memories instead of from their imaginations. So when you're looking at these surveys, imagine what will happen when HP and Xerox come together. Imagine it both ways. Imagine that Xerox buys HP and then imagine that HP buys Xerox. And if you really want to throw something in the middle of it, imagine that Best Buy buys Xerox. Imagine that Staples buys two big, huge copier dealers in the United States and controls a billion dollars worth of distribution on that platform. Imagine that Dex Imaging builds an e-commerce site and is selling every single product online, A3 and A4, because what manufacturer would say no to a billion dollars worth of distribution? So what I want to implore everybody, in the month of December, give yourself the gift to imagine. And start imagining what's possible because, as I said, possibilities become probabilities quicker than ever. And we all know this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo. Imagine that.